Welcome back to the channel. We're Jamie and Skylar, and in today's video, we'll be showing you around the Plantation Resort, our new favorite place to stay in our favorite old Florida town, Crystal River. Every winter, thousands of Northerners make the trip down to Florida's Gulf Coast to get a break from the cold and to relax on one of the many beautiful beaches. But what few realize is that perhaps the most unique Florida experience can be found just over an hour and a half drive from both Tampa and Orlando in the heart of Florida's nature coast. A nature lover's paradise, Crystal River offers amazing parks, trails, paddling, and adventure for the whole family. But recently, we discovered that it offers a great place to stay as well in the plantation at Crystal River. So let us show you around the resort and since every good day starts off with a great breakfast, our first stop takes us to the southeast portion of the property at the 19th hole. Here you'll find plenty of seating, great views of the golf course, a bar, and some really good food. So over here they do breakfast sandwiches and breakfast burritos. We shared a breakfast burrito with sausage and then we got a sandwich on rye bread with Swiss cheese and bacon. They both look really good. And they were only $4.50 a piece. And if you're like Skylar, and sometimes prefer to have your breakfast in a glass, we found that they make a pretty awesome Bloody Mary too. Good way to start off the morning. I just went with the coffee because we found out that it's complimentary over here. Attached to the 19th hole, you'll find a pro shop, which offers a great selection of golf apparel adorned with the golf club's Manatee logo. Golfers can enjoy both an 18-hole course and a 9-hole short course at the plantation. And on a beautiful 70-degree morning, it was no surprise that this golf course was the place to be. Next to the golf course, plantation guests will also find a putting green and tennis courts. We just got done with breakfast at the 19th hole bar and grill, which is actually right behind us. We were happy to find that they had some great options for breakfast sandwiches and burritos. Now we originally had planned on eating breakfast over at the hotel. They have a breakfast buffet every morning that looks amazing, but ultimately we decided we just weren't hungry enough for a buffet. So we're really glad we ventured across the street for a smaller breakfast. Now that we've got the day started off right, let's head back to the hotel so we can show you our room. But first, we have to give a big thank you to the folks at the Plantation on Crystal River for providing us with a complimentary room at this charming resort. Welcome to our room here at the Plantation on Crystal River. This is a 50-year-old resort that is full of old Florida charm. So let me show you around a little bit. We are here in the Jasmine Building with a canal view. So when you walk into our room, the first thing you'll notice is this giant dresser. On the right side over here, behind this nice sliding barn door, you will find the space heater. This is something you'll need on those cooler winter nights because the thermostat only controls the air conditioning. And we did use the space heater last night and stayed nice and toasty. The middle section here does offer extra storage along with the left side of the dresser as well. And on top of the dresser, there's plenty of room here, and that's where they have the flat screen TV. And then to the left of the dresser is where you'll find the refrigerator. And this is a really good sized refrigerator. We could fit a lot of items in here. We've only needed it for uh, drinks, but it's been nice to have. And we have our coffee maker on top of the refrigerator. They do offer regular coffee and also decaf. And to the left of the refrigerator, we've got the desk area here with the lamp and also the alarm clock. I do want to point out that the alarm clock does have two spaces for USB charging. And in the corner over here, we also have a dehumidifier. And that is something you'll need if you stay here in the summer months when it gets a little muggy. 
And in the corner across from the dehumidifier, we have a nice seating area. There's a corner chair right next to one of the bed stands. Now let's get to this bed here. This is a king size bed and we did sleep in it last night. It was very comfortable. There's a lot of pillows on it. I will say they are very soft pillows. So if you do prefer a more firm pillow, you may want to consider bringing your own. And on either side of the bed, there are two lamps. There are USB chargers in the back of both of those lamps. And that's really nice for charging your phones at night. Let's check out the bathroom before we head out to the patio. You'll find a nice big closet. And on the other side is the sink with the ice bucket and the hair dryer. I really like the sink is separate from the restroom and the shower because of this pocket door. So this is kind of neat. And then in this area, you just have the toilet and the shower with a nice corner shelf. Last but not least is the patio. Because we have a waterfront room, we do have a view of the canal and also the sand volleyball court. Now that you've seen our room, let's head over to the pool. Now, if you're not familiar with the Crystal River area, it is located in the heart of Florida's nature coast. So if you're interested in visiting, you're likely gonna wanna relax, unplug, and just enjoy nature. Yeah, and that's exactly what we've done on this trip. We have been to Crystal River a couple of times before, and we do absolutely love the area. But in our trips in the past, our accommodations definitely left a little bit to be desired. But that is not the case this time as the plantation offers much more than your typical hotel. It really does. It's got great dining options, a tiki bar, and a pool. And I think we really enjoy the fact that the Adventure Center is right on site. So when we booked our tour, we were able to walk from our building to the Adventure Center right onto our boat. The Adventure Center is awesome. You can book a tour there to swim with the manatees, or you can book a fishing or scalloping charter, or you can go on a sunset cruise or rent paddle boards and kayaks. Yeah, during our stay here, we did go and swim with the manatees, and that experience was incredible. So if you're interested in that at all, we would recommend checking out that video of ours after this one. And also, if you're interested in that activity or any of the other ones, make sure you check the hotel's website because they do offer some packages where they pair one of those activities with a hotel stay and it can save you a lot of money. And one more suggestion, if you're looking for activities beyond what the property offers, we would recommend checking out our Nature Coast series after this one because we do visit a lot of local attractions that are only a short drive away. But if you decide you never want to leave the plantation during your Crystal River vacation, we can't blame you for that either. We found the heated pool to be the perfect swimming temperature, even in December. Is it warm? Yeah, that would feel nice. But if you're like us and spend a chilly December morning snorkeling with these guys, the hot tub may be even more appealing. Now that we're dried off and warmed up, it's time to grab some lunch and some drinks. Fortunately, you can find both right next to the pool at the Plantation Tiki Bar. We were happy to find a drink menu full of refreshing tropical cocktails, including this tasty spin on a painkiller. We found no shortage of good lunch options either, as all items from the West 82 bar menu were available at the Tiki Bar. We ultimately decided on the blackened salmon BLT and the Philly cheesesteak. And while both meals hit the spot, we agreed that my salmon BLT was the favorite. And if you're lucky, you may even spot a manatee or two swimming by while enjoying your food and drinks. The Waterfront Tiki Bar opens at 11.30 daily and closes at 8 p.m. Sunday through Wednesday and 9 p.m. Thursday through Saturday. 
Now let's go explore some more of this massive 232 acre property, which includes poolside games such as checkers, chess, and connect four. To the east of the pool, visitors will find even more games, including shuffleboard, horseshoes, and sand volleyball. Just a little further to the east, guests will find the gym within the Rose Building. And if you're looking for less activity and more relaxation, the Spa Blue can be found right next to the main lobby. Just a short walk down the hall from the spa, guests will find a nook with a computer and an ATM. And just across the hall, you'll find Plantation Outfitters, a shop containing a variety of clothing, souvenirs, plus all those items you forgot to pack for your vacation. We still have a little bit more to show you on this beautiful property. And next up is our favorite spot on the whole resort. It's peaceful. You can watch all the kayakers and boaters go by and see the manatees. After a long day of adventure and exploring this charming resort, you might want to cap off your day with a great meal and a cocktail. And the perfect spot to do just that is at West 82, right off of the lobby. West 82 offers a warm and inviting dining area, plus a well-stocked bar with a variety of beer, wine, and specialty cocktail options. We took the recommendation of the bartender and ordered a key lime martini, which we found to be the perfect balance of sweet and sour. For dinner, we once again ordered from the West 82 bar menu, but this time we got the grilled grouper sandwich and Peruvian fish tacos. Both were fresh and fantastic, and the perfect way to wrap up a wonderful day at the Plantation Resort. If you're planning your own trip to Crystal River, we couldn't be happier to recommend staying at this beautiful property. And if you're planning a manatee tour, want to learn more about manatees, or just enjoy watching super cute manatees, go ahead and click on this video next. Thanks for watching.